Hello everybody, Joe here, Soggy Bottom Forge. Uh, getting ready to fire up the forge today. Got a piece of coil spring. This is the coil spring off of a uh, Grand Caravan. My neighbor's caravan. Um, so I'm going to take this, I'm going to make myself... Correction, I'm going to make a blacksmith's knife today. I'm going to see what I can get out of this. Oh. It's gonna be short blade. I don't have a lot of material for length, for width and whatnot. So anyway, I'm gonna heat this up. I'm uh, trying the corn feed again. Part of the problem that I had a while back when I first tried it, I wasn't, I didn't have any way to let it carb up before I pulled it into the fire. Um, I was just using the rim. So with the rotor setup that I have, I pack some dirt in around it so it fills the gap. I should be able to I should be able to pile it up a little bit around here so it'll start coking up on my fire. So I'm gonna give that a shot today. and see what I come up with. This will be my best attempt at it. So I'm gonna go ahead and fog this, get the forge burning. Hopefully not smoke myself out. I also set it up with a uh, hair dryer so I have a constant airflow. So it's gonna be a little noisier today. And I have the anvil over in the over here, it's actually sitting on the concrete slab. I'm going to try that out, see if it feels better than where it was sitting on the dirt. And, uh, all right, I'll be back once I get the fire going and get it heating up. All righty, guys, so I got the fire warmed up. I got the piece of coil spring straightened out a little bit. And we're ready to do that. Work the tip in, bring it to a point more, and then uh, do the double sided offset so I have a piece of the blade. Let me adjust it down so you can see the anvil here, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, so we're coming up to heat. Um, sorry about the noise, the neighbor back over there somewhere has decided to uh, do some yard work today. Um, but we're gonna bring this out, we're gonna work the tip, bring it down to a uh, short taper, slide back and do a uh, double-sided offset. Be right back. Paper. So next time we're gonna come back. I don't know, about two, three inches somewhere around here, and uh, do a double-sided offset. Oh, let's see. Actually, I'm about there. Oh. There we go. And now they're mowing the lawn too. I'll be back. Alright, I believe we're coming back up to heat, so I'm gonna grab it, bring it over here, and do my offset now.
to. Double side offset, so I need to take that down from there some more. This is going to be the blade here, and then I'll work the handle out back here. So, back in the fire. So, all right, got that back in the fire. Um, the last time I tried using coal. Uh, corn feed. Had a really hard time. Had a really hard time getting it to heat right. But I'm mean, gonna have to go back and check. But I believe it was Gordon Family Forge. Had some really good insight on that video. Gave me left, left some really good comments. And uh, there's another video I seen not that long ago where a guy was using corn feed. And if I and remember if I can find it again I'll, I'll put a link down in the description to that um, but yeah it's definitely helped uh, the tips from Gordon and, and watching the other videos definitely helped me so all right I'm gonna go ahead and pause this let that heat back up I'll be back alrighty guys so I did skip one heat I just did a little bit more on those offsets work it back a little bit I'm gonna pull it out work that some more and maybe get a couple smacks on the uh, blade portion in there. So, we right back. Alrighty guys, so get ready to come back out. We're gonna turn you on, bring you along for another heat. Check this one out. Start to look a little bit of like how I want it. Work that down some more. Try this out. That's it. Be back. Back in. Alright, so the one downside to corn is I'm always feeding the fire. It does burn up pretty quick. So you see how much I get done with this bag. So it wasn't a full bag to begin with. So anyway, we'll uh, be back on the next heat.
Alrighty. And back in. Porch dog. Another one back over here somewhere. Right behind here. I can see her when I look over my shoulder. This one, her name is Ginger. Color Zinnies. Come back over here. Little bush. Just thought I'd show you that. What up, weeds? There's another horse dog for you. So, here's the fire going good. Looks like the still's getting hot, so I'm gonna pause this, get you situated, and uh, bring it back out for another. Uh, Again. All right, guys. Looks like we'll come back up to heat. I'm gonna use this little. Uh, I don't know. Pound, pound and a half. Here we go. Now, I think on the next one, I'm going to start working back here a little bit, try to get this drawn out. I'm going to draw it out, you know, probably eight, nine inches. I'm going to do the fold and wrap back, but I'm going to start working this back here and see what I come up with. So, we'll be back. Alrighty, guys, so, <clears throat> sorry. I uh, burned up that bag of uh, corn feed, so switching back to my coal, uh, I had a there we go. Had a uh, little bit that I cleaned out that was still good coke, so I just threw that on top, and uh, we're up to heat again. So I'm gonna pull that out, work it, and then I'm gonna throw some fresh around the edges of it so let's get you situated back here and there I'll go grab the towel there we go that's that back in the fire and uh, build up my coal there get the, get the coconut and uh, see if I can get the coal today okay cool thought I saw a crack right here but it's not I'll be back
That's a new experience for me. I'm not used to having a horn. There we go. Yeah. I like that. Alrighty. Back in. Uh oh. Something happened. See if I can find the other half. Well, I don't think I'm going to get eight ounces out of that. That's all right. I'm going to keep working on it. See what I can get out of it. Oh, here we go. So a little more work right in this area mainly. See if I can draw it out a little bit more and narrow it up a little bit. Get as much length out of it as I can. And then turn it around and start working the blade again. Not exactly what I wanted, but I'm going to make something out of it. Alright, so I burnt the end off again, so it went from this long to this long. Do it out a little bit more, flipped it over, grabbed a different pair of tongs, and now I'm going to work the blade and see what I end up with. So, yeah, let's see what we end up with today. Who knows? It could all be melted in the bottom of my forge by the time I'm done. Anyway. See what I mean? Now it's barely two knuckles long, so I'll be back.
Alrighty. See what I can do with this one without burning it off again. I have an idea. I'll be back. Hmm. I just can't get it over here fast enough, I guess. But. Uh, what am I going to do here? I don't know. Let me shut this off and think about it. Okay, so what I ended up doing, I just took my welder and did a couple tack welds to hold it in place. So it's on there. Not well, though. So I need to do another weld on it. Nope. That's not going to work. Alright, I'm just going to cut it off, pop it off there, weld it up real good. And then I'll forge the weld and make, try to make it blend in. Alright guys, so uh, let's see if we can get this to go. Yeah. See what happened here. I ended up just welding it together. So I don't know what I actually got for a weld on that thing. I'll have to wait until I file it out, right? I suppose we'll stop this and uh, go ahead and clamp this up in a vise and clean this up a little bit. See if it's actually going to stick together. I'll be back. Alright, so I'm just going to clean up on it. And finally, I had to do a little more welding on it just to kind of get it filled up. Right now I'm just trying to work the uh, welded area. Alrighty. Back to the blade. Yeah. All right, everybody. So that's it for today because ran out of fuel. I uh, still a little warm up there. I was able to actually get it to weld, well, welded it, and then forged it up, cleaned it up with a file a little bit. It's 
couple little gaps right here I might try to fill in and clean up but uh that's where I got today I'm with about four inch about four inches right now give or take them all palm width so um still a little thick so I'm try to work it and I'll try to draw it out more get a little bit more length out of it before I start everything else but until I either get more charcoal coal or corn that's it for this oh nice Joe so that's it for today thanks for watching catch you on the next one like comment subscribe peace and I'm out